Hello, one and all. Welcome to Morning English. This is Max. Hello, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So Summer, I heard that your boyfriend is flying in today. Yeah, that's right. You know, now I'm using an app to see where the plane is. I'm just refreshing it every few minutes. It's nice that you're excited to see him again. But a watched pot never boils. Yeah, that makes sense. 就是大家有没有这种感觉？就是在等人的时候啊，你觉得时间真的好漫长啊！就像你在烧一壶水，你想让那个水开，但你好像越看呢，它越不开。那这个时候啊，就可以用到这个表达了。A watched pot never boils. 就是时间真的好漫长啊。Thinking about it, I know tons of kitchen-related idioms. Cool, because everyone has a kitchen, right? They have a kitchen. So in English, there are many different ways to say kitchen or kitchen related expressions. How about we cover that as today's topic? Sure, why not? So I know there are tons of kitchen-related idioms, but can you think of one with the word kitchen in it? Sure,、mm, I can think of at least one. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. You might hear a boss say this to one of their employees. It doesn't sound like a boss, but more like a mom. I feel like it's a mom who often says this sentence, right? That is, if you can't handle the heat, then you should not be in the kitchen. Basically, Basically, it's a polite warning or a reminder that if you can't do a job or task, someone else can. Oh, so the heat is not about the real fire or heat, but pressure or stress. 所、so, 以这个表达其实有一点点严肃的小警告啊。But what if you're not a boss? Can you still use this? Yeah, sure. You could use this to your friend or colleague as a motivation, or to remind them that if they really can't deal with the job, then finding a different one is always an option. I see. So Max, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Oh, that does sound a little bit scary. <laughs> All right, talking about work, it's、mm-hmm. great that our department has so many new people here. 对，大家最近听我们节目是不是也听到了很多新声音啊 ？And Max is so happy about it because he's not the newbie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I tried getting some of them to help me with one of my language projects, but I found that too many cooks spoiled the broth. 嗯，又来一个表达了，同学们，这个 broth 就是做饭的高汤。如果厨师太多呢，这个高汤就做不好。其实就想说，人多反而会坏事儿。The idea is that if different cooks are all adding what they like to a broth or a soup, then the taste becomes complicated and maybe unenjoyable. 嗯哼，有时候我们说人多力量大吧，但有时候人太多也不好。那你刚刚其实是在说你在找人帮你做一个语言项目，对吧 ？Then what happened to your project? Well, there was just too much input. And too many ideas. All of them were good, but there was enough material for another five projects. So I just started again by myself. Okay, right. Okay. So how about another idiom?、Um, I've got one. Jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. Ah, a great one, meaning to go from a bad situation to an even worse one. 对，这个表达其实真的很有画面感啊。Frying pan 就是煎锅。你才从煎锅里跳了出来，然后又跳到了火里 into the fire. 其实就是说呢，你才下刀山，又入火海。This can also be said as jump out of the frying pan and into an oven, as an oven is still hotter than a frying pan. Yeah, right. So, can you think of a scenario sentence? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, people kept making fun of my hairstyle, so I just shaved my head. But that was just jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. That's good. So, 就是说别人嘲笑你的发型，你就把头给剃了。但结果只能是我们都知道越来越不好看了。So is that a true story? Actually, it is true. Yes, I did shave my head. <laughs> All right. But it's no use crying over spilt milk. 到底男生啊，对自己头发就是豁达一些，剃了就剃了。覆水难收，哭也没用。哎，刚刚是 Max 又用到一个表达，大家应该比较熟悉啊。这个 spilled milk 就是洒了出来的牛奶。It's no use crying for it， 就是为了这个牛奶哭呢也没有用。Exactly. 
So this means there's no point being upset about something that happened in the past. But I've got a question.、Sure. Why milk? Ah, well, basically, milk is very common. So if you spill milk, it's okay. You'll be able to get more milk at some point. I see. So you're suggesting that there always be another opportunity or situation. Exactly. And there's even an extension. It's no use crying over spilt milk. It could have been whiskey. We add this part to mean it could have been worse. 对<笑>，对于 Max 来说呢，撒了牛奶是小事儿，但如果撒了这个威士忌 whiskey， 那就是大事儿了。<笑> I'll tell everyone now. If you spill my whiskey, your goose is cooked. Your goose is cooked. 这又来了一个习语啦，就是 Max 在威胁我呢，不要撒了他的酒。So your goose is cooked has two meanings. The first means someone is defeated or ruined. The second meaning is that someone is facing inescapable punishment for some trouble he or she is in or has caused. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 简而言之就是说你完了 you're done. Yes, exactly. <laughs> The boss is really angry with you. Your goose is cooked. And you promise your wife that you'll be home early. If you're late, your goose is cooked. <laughs> I know my wife. I'll get home early enough so she doesn't boil over. <laughs> Max 有点点气管炎啊！我们刚刚说这个 boil 就是水开的那个 boil， 所以他说那个 boil over 就说特别生气，就 become very very angry and want to argue. This is a visual idiom. If you boil water, it looks, you know, quite angry. <laughs> right, so much bubbles,、mm. and it even has an opposite, simmer down. That's right. If you turn off the heat on boiling water, the bubbles get smaller. The water becomes calm. If someone simmers down, they become calm. Hmm. So here, there's a pair of this phrase of the phrase. You can all say it together. This boil over means to be angry. So to calm down means that the heat is gone. It means to simmer down. Exactly. After the boss questioned and yelled at me, I boiled over and I quit. It took me ages to simmer back down. Good example. So you could say that the boss grilled you. <laughs> Another one to grill someone. If someone grills you, they are endlessly and aggressively questioning you. Right, this expression is also very fun. This grill you is asking you, asking you. Grill is the grill that is heated. It is very realistic. And you know, like in most police TV shows, the cops will grill the suspects. Yeah, right, right, right. I can't think of any more idioms though. Um. Well, how about this one? The pot calling the kettle black. This expression I also like. It's very fun. You can guess what it means. Pot is pot. Kettle is the pot that boils the water. The Chinese meaning is pot that boils the water. Ah, yeah. The pot calling the kettle black.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, it's worth mentioning. This has nothing to do with racism. A pot can turn black because it's on the fire all the time. And so can a kettle. 对，所以呢，这个意思就是说呢，五十步笑百步了。Right, like calling someone selfish when they are selfish too. You know, the boss talked to me about leaving work early. It is a pot calling the kettle black. Awesome, yeah. Well, we did well thinking of ten、uh, kitchen-related idioms. Yeah, we had fun. So today we talked about ten idioms that are related to the kitchen. They are very useful. Ah, you can use them in everyday life. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当。So thank you very much for listening. This is Max. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye. Bye.